We're going to turn now to the U.S. Postmaster General in the hot seat today over those delays in delivering the mail, the changes at the post office. He was asked if he spoke with President Trump about changes in the U.S. Postal Service and what he's saying is causing the slowdown and can he promise every ballot will be delivered in time to be counted in this presidential election. Here's our Chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, tonight. President Trump today again raised dark and unsubstantiated fears about mail-in voting. You're not going to be able to know the end of this election, in my opinion, for weeks, months, maybe never. But the president said this just after the Postmaster General assured Congress election mail will be secure and on time. This sacred duty is my number one priority between now and Election Day. Louis DeJoy firmly rejected accusations from some Democrats that he is sabotaging the upcoming election. The insinuation is, quite frankly, outrageous. He acknowledged with mail volume down, some sorting machines and blue mailboxes have been removed since he became Postmaster General 67 days ago, part of a longstanding trend. Democrats demanded to know whether DeJoy, a Trump mega donor, was doing the bidding of the president. Did you discuss those changes or are there a potential impact on the November election with the president or anyone at the White House? And remind you, you're under oath. I have never spoken to the president about the Postal Service other than to congratulate me when I accepted the position. In stark contrast to the president, the postmaster general said he favors mail-in voting and has voted himself by mail for years. His advice to those wanting to be sure their vote is counted, vote early. He said it twice, David, vote early. John Carl, John Carl with us all week long. John, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.